वेलकम स्टूडेंट वी आर डिस्कसिंग टिगोनमेट्रिक रेसियोज एंड रिविशन वर्क ऑफ टिगोनमेट्रिक टूडे आई विल डिस्कस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम मिसलेनियस प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दीज टू चैप्टर्स दैट इज रिविशन एंड टिगोनमेट्रिक रेसियोज ऑफ एनी एंगल नाउ प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन arrange in descending order tan 1 tan 1 radian tan 4 radian tan 7 radian tan 10 radian now we have already discussed one radian equals to 180 by pi and this is approximately you remember 57 degree 16 minute and 22 second so approximately this one or you can write it 57 degree approximate so arrange in descending order now tan 1 so this is approximately equals to tan 57 Tan four, tan two to eight, four into this. This is approximately tan three nine nine, fifty seven into seven, and fifty seven into seven. So three nine nine, and this is approximately five seven zero degree. Now this is in first quadrant. Okay. Second tan two to eight. Tan two to eight. Tan two to eight is. You look. Tan two to eight. Tan one eighty plus forty eight. In third quadrant, it is tan forty eight degree approximately. Tan three nine nine. This is tan three sixty plus thirty nine. So approximately tan thirty nine. And this is approximately five seven zero. So, so this is ten ninety into six plus thirty. So approximately this is ten thirty, not ten thirty approximately because we have taken this one. We have put it. So look. Ten five seven zero. So this is nineteen to six plus thirty. So this is in fourth quarter. It is third quarter. Ten is positive. Ten is positive. So all values of ten are positive. And you know, as theta increases, as theta increases, ten theta increases. In this, in zero less than theta less than ninety degrees, we know it. So, which one is theta? Tan fifty seven. This is greatest. Then tan forty eight. Then tan thirty nine, and then tan thirty. So, simplified form is this. You have to keep in mind. We have taken this is at fifty seven degrees. So we have to keep in mind that if the if it is in third quadrant, so look, all are in all are in either first in third quadrant. So all are positive. So no harm. So if it is suppose this is fifty seven, fifty seven. If it is fifty seven into sixteen, sixteen mini. So this is we have taken it fifty seven. Degree, but when it is at the border of this, so you have to keep in mind whether this is in is it in which quadrant. You have to keep in mind. Now for this problem, there is no such <coughs> no such case. So what is the greatest value? Descending orders. 
so get a value at first so tan 1 radian greater than tan 4 radian greater than tan 7 radian greater than tan 10 radian so this is concept conceptual problem so you have to it is given in radian so we are transferring it it is in degree and find the value and this is in descending form now problem number two which one is list which one is list so exactly same problem here sign one if it is not given we suppose it is in radian so this is sin 1, sin 57 degree approximate and this is sin 57 into 2. So 150, 150, 1 degree approximate and this is sin 57 into 3, 57 into 2. This is 171 and 57 into 2, 104 degree and this is sine 7 degree. This is approximately 57 into 7, 399 and this is in first quadrant this is sin 39 degree and this is sin 180 minus 14 so 66 approximately and this is sin 171 so this is approximately sin 9 degree 57 into 3. So, sin, so as theta increases, theta increases, sin theta increases, increases in 0 less than theta less than 90. So, all are in first quadrant. So, sin 9, sin 9 is the so which one is list sin 9 that is sin 1 7 that is sin 3 so sin 3 radian is list value is list value so this is very very simple problem but you should know idea of quadrant and relation between radian and degree Now we consider problem number 3 and 4, they are of same type. If theta, if x in, if alpha, alpha in first, in third quarter, then what is the value of 1 minus cos alpha by 1 plus cos alpha plus 1 plus cos alpha by 1 minus cos alpha. Now look, if it is not given, then it is a problem of class 10. We suppose that alpha in is in first quadrant, but here it is in third quadrant. So look, if we simplify this, so this is 1 plus cos alpha whole square and this is sine square alpha then total root and this is 1 plus cos alpha by sin square alpha total root. Now this is mod sin alpha, this is mod 1 plus cos alpha, this is mod 1 plus cos alpha, removal of root over sin, this is mod sin alpha. Now look, 
1 plus cos alpha. Cos alpha lesser than equals to 1. So it lies between minus 1 to plus 1. So 1 plus cos alpha is always positive. So that is why we are taking this as 1 plus cos alpha, this as 1 plus cos alpha. So this is sin alpha minus sin alpha by 1 plus cos alpha. Because in third quadrant, sin alpha is negative. Similarly, this is 1 plus cos alpha by minus sin alpha. So if, if it is in third quadrant, but if it is in first quadrant, then it is also plus, it is also plus. Now you have to simplify this thing. So look, LCM is, this is minus outside, sin alpha into 1 plus cos alpha. And this is sin square alpha and this is 1 plus cos alpha whole square because minus common. So if we simplify this one, this is sin alpha into 1 plus cos alpha unchanged. Now sin square alpha cos square alpha is 1. This is 1 plus 1. This is 2 plus 2 cos alpha. 2 plus 2 cos alpha. If you simplify, you get now, 2 is common, so minus outside, 2 common, 1 plus cos alpha by sin alpha into 1 plus cos alpha. So finally, this is minus 2 by sin alpha. So B is the correct option. So you look into the condition, otherwise answer will be here it is plus sin alpha, it is also plus sin alpha. Now, problem number 4. The minimum value of the expression. What is minimum value of the expression? Now, expression is, this is sin alpha, this is sin x, and this is mod sin. This is cos x, this is mod cos x, because quadrant is not given, tan x, 6 square x minus 1, tan square x, so mod tan x, and this is cot x, this is mod cot x, so this is simplified value. Now quadrant is not given. So, if x belongs to first quadrant, then what is the expression? Expression equals to first quadrant. So, this is all are positive. 1, 1, 1, plus 1, this is 4. If x belongs to first quadrant, so sin x positive, cos x positive, tan x, cot x. So, what is the value of the expression? Expression is 4. If x belongs to second quadrant, so this is 1 and this is minus 1 and second quadrant tan x is negative. So this is minus tan x and this is minus 1. So what is the value? Value is minus 2. Value is minus 2. If x belongs to second quadrant. Now if x belongs to third quadrant, what is the expression? Sin x is negative. So 1 by minus 1. 1 by minus 1. Cos, this is negative. Tan, this is positive. Cot, this is also positive. So 1 by 1. So value of the expression is 0. So, this one negative, this one negative, this one positive, this one positive. And finally, if x belongs to fourth quadrant, fourth quadrant, so cos x is positive. So, expression equals to 1 by 1, 1 by 
1 by minus 1. Sin x is negative 1 by 1. Tan x. This is also plus tan minus tan x. So, this is minus 1. This is also minus 1. So, in this case, it is minus 2. So, values of the expression 4 minus 2, 0, this. So, what is the minimum value? Minimum value is minus 2. Minimum value is minus 2. So, keep into mind, root over 1 minus cos square x equals to sin x. We generally write this one. It is true when it is in first quadrant. Otherwise, we take it as not sin x. So, this is also most important problem. Now, I consider problem number 5 and 6. So, problem number 6. So, we have already discussed this problem in earlier class. So, sin x plus sin y plus sin j equals to minus 3 find value of the expression. So, we have already stated, so look, this is possible when sin x equals to minus 1, sin y equals to minus 1 and sin j equals to minus 1. I have already given reason in previous class. So, what is x? x equals to minus y by 2, y equals to minus y by 2, j equals to minus 1. Y by two. So, what is the expression? Sin x, sin pi by two, sin x equals to, so no need of taking x. So, this is minus 1 to the power 400, minus 1 to the power 400, and this is minus 1 to the power 400. So, value is 3. What is the value of the expression? Value of the expression is 3. So, it is very very simple. Now, this one. Given sin square theta 1, sin square theta 2, sin square theta 3 equals to 0. Which one is not possible value of the expression? So, given expression is this. So, sum of squares equals to 0. So, it is possible when sin square theta 1 equals to 0 sin square theta 2 equals to 0, sin square theta 3 equals to 0. That is sin theta 1 equals to sin theta 2 equals to sin theta 3 equals to 0. So, theta 1 equals to 0, pi, 2 pi. So, theta equals to n pi. What is theta 2? 0 pi, 2 pi. Theta 3 also 0 pi, now, if we take theta 1, theta 2, theta 3 as 0, so cos 0, 1, 1, 1, so cos 0, theta 1 equals to 0, 1, 1, 1, so 1 value of the expression, value of the expression, cos 0, cos 0, cos 0, so 3, it is possible value, it is possible Now, if we take pi, theta 1 equals to pi, theta 2 equals to pi, theta 3 equals to pi, then cos pi, this is minus 1, this is minus 1, minus 1, theta equals to, theta i equals to pi, so expression equals to cos pi, cos pi, cos pi, so this is minus 3. If we take 2 pi, 2 pi, 2 pi, then it is again 3. Now we take theta 1 equals to 0, theta 2 equals to pi, theta 3 equals to pi. So what is cos theta 1? So this is 1. So expression, what is expression? This is 1. This is minus 1. This is minus 1. So minus 1 is a possible value. If we take theta 1 equals to pi, theta 2 equals to 0, theta 3 equals to 0. 
So what we are getting? So expression equals to minus one plus one plus one. So the value is one. So minus one is also possible. Minus three is also possible. So one option is left. Minus two is not possible value of the expression. This is not possible value. So look again. Sum of square equals to zero. They are individually zero. So if you take all same values, all are zero. Three, all are two pi. Then also three, all are pi. Then also minus three. Then take combination. You do not get this value. So value of the expression cannot be minus two. Cannot be minus two. Now problem number seven and eight. So problem number eight first. Eighty one to the power sine square theta. Eighty one to the power cos square theta equals to thirty. Find theta. Theta is in third quadrant. Uh, sorry, first and second quadrant. Zero to pi. So first you have to solve this equation. So we have to use rule of indices. So eighty one to the power sine square theta. So this is eighty one to the power same trigonometric ratio. So eighty one to the power sine square. Eighty one by eighty one to the power sine square theta equals to thirty. So eighty. So rule of indices. So eighty one to the power sine square theta as x. So what we are getting x plus eighty one by x equals to thirty. So x square minus 30x plus 81 equals to 0. So this is quadratic equation. So solve it. So x minus 27 into x minus 3. So 27 and 3. So x equals to 27. X equals to 3. So if we take x equals to 27, so 81 to the power sine square theta equals to 27. So 3 to the power 4 sine square theta equals to 3 to the power 3. So sine square theta 4 sine square theta equals to 3. Rule of indices. 3 to the power 4. So sine square Equals to three by four. So sine theta equals to three by root three by two plus minus. Since it is in second quadrant, so sine theta is always positive. So what are the values? Theta equals to sixty and one twenty. Theta equals to sixty and one twenty. Only two values are possible because it is in second. Quadrant. Now one more option. So it is also given. So eighty one to the power sine square theta equals to x. What is x? X is three. So three to the power four sine square theta equals to three to the power one. So sine square theta equals to one by four. Four sine square theta one, so sine theta plus minus half. Now it is in second quadrant, so sine theta equals two half. Minus half is not possible, so thirty and one fifty. So we have already solved first quadrant thirty five minus thirty. So what are the possible values? Thirty sixty one twenty one fifty. So this is most important problem also. Now problem number seven. One plus sine x plus sine square x sine cube x dot dot infinity. 
e cos to 4 plus 2 root 3. So look, this is problem of infinite GP series. So it is problem of infinite GP series. There is a result. So 1 plus x plus x square dot dot in so sum is possible when x lies between minus 1 to plus 1 and sum is a by 1 minus r so general result is this one a a r a r square you learn later you write the formula if number of term is infinite so ratio is same this is gp series number of term is infinite so infinite gp series so sum is a by 1 minus a equals to first term and r equals to common ratio and R mass lies between minus 1 to plus 1. This is our condition. Now look at the problem 1 plus sin x sin square x sin 0x. So ratio is sin x and sin x lies between minus 1 to plus 1. So we can use formula of infinite GP series. So formula is A. What is A? 1. A is first term common ratio is r that is sin x so 1 minus sin x 1 by 1 minus sin x 4 plus 2 root 3 1 by 1 minus sin x so 1 minus sin x equals to 1 by 4 plus 2 root 3 so this implies sin x equals to this implies sin x equals to 1 minus 1 minus 1 by 4 plus 2 root 3. So this is LCM. So 3 plus 2 root 3. 3 plus 2 root 3. A by 1 minus R. 1 by 1 minus sin x. 4 plus this. So 1 minus sin x equals to 1 reciprocal. Reciprocal of this. 16. 16. So if we simplify it, you may simplify it. It is 16 minus 12. This is 16 minus 12, 4 minus 2 root 3. So, 16 minus 12, this is 4, 4 minus 2 root 3. So, this one is sin x. <coughs> so, 1 minus sin x. So, sin x equals to, sin x equals to 1 minus. 1 minus 4 minus 2 root 3 by 4. So 1 minus 1 plus root 3 by 2. So this is root 3 by 2. Now it is given x is in 0 to pi. So it is 60 degree. So 1 value is 60 degree. And in second quadrant this is 120 look it again so you learn later this is infinite gp series value of infinite gp series can be obtained when common ratio lies between minus 1 to plus 1 so second term by first term third term by second term this is common ratio common ratio is sin x so it lies between minus 1 to plus 1 so we can use formula of infinite gp series 1 by 1 minus sin x then solve sin x and you get x so this is after this it is very very simple but 
most important problem. Now problem number 9 and 10. So this is problem of class 10 but most important problem this is also problem of class 10. I have already discussed this type of problem. So try to recall problem number 10. It is given in function form f k 1 by k sin to the power k cos to the power k. So what is f4? f4 x. So what is f4 x? 1 by 4 sin to the power 4x cos to the power 4x and we have already discussed it repeatedly this is 1 minus 2 sin square x cos square x you have to remember the result sin square x plus cos square x whole square minus this this is 1 now what is f 6x so 1 by 6 cos to the power 6x sin to the power 6x so this is also well known result 1 minus 3 sin square x cos square x so this is 1 by 6 minus half sin square x cos square x and this one is 1 by 4 minus half sin square x cos square x 1 by 4 and this is half. Now f4 minus f6. f4 minus f6. So what is f4? 1 by 4 minus half sin square x cos square x. And it is 1 by 6 minus half sin square x cos square x. So final answer is 1 by 4 minus 1 by 6. Simplify and you get the result. So I have also solved this problem earlier, but in another one. Now this one is very very simple problem. So the power of cos is 12. So this is large power. So using this relation, we can say sin x equals to 1 minus. So, this is cos square x. Sin x equals to cos square x. Now, what is cos to the power 12x? Cos to the power 12x is sin to the power 6x. This is 3 sin to the power 5x. This is 3 sin to the power 4x. And this is sin qx minus So sin cube x common, sin cube x, 3 sin square x, 3 sin x plus 1 minus 2. Now sin cube x common, this is 1 plus sin x whole cube, 1 plus sin x whole cube. This is sin x 1 plus sin x is whole cube. So what is 1 plus sin x? This is sin cube x into yes. This is you can write sin x into 1 plus sin x total whole cube minus 2. That is sin x plus sin square x whole cube minus 2. Now what is sin x plus sin square x? This is 1. So 1 cube minus 2. So final value is minus 1. Final value is minus 1. So this is problem of you have already solved this problem in secondary classes. Now you consider problem number 11 and 
फाइन द मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ साइन एक्स प्लस कोस एक्स स्क्वायर एक्स कोस एक्स प्लस सेक एक्स कोल स्क्वायर सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इफ दे आर रेशियो कॉल वैल्यू लो साइन स्क्वायर एक्स कोस एक्स स्क्वायर एक्स प्लस टू कोस स्क्वायर एक्स सेक स्क्वायर एक्स टू कोस एक्स सेक एक्स प्लस टू सो फोर इन साइन स्क्वायर एक्स प्लस कोस एक्स स्क्वायर एक्स कोस स्क्वायर एक्स प्लस सेक स्क्वायर एक्स सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस देयर रेशियो कॉल वैल्यू एंड दिस इज दिस मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इज How it is obtained? Try to recall. So sine x minus cosine x whole square plus two. I have already discussed it in revision class. And this is cosine x minus sine x whole square plus two. So this is greater than equals to. This is four. This is greater than equals to two. This is greater than equals to two. So. A minus B whole square. So what is minimum value of this expression? Two. This also two. So if it is two or greater than, it is also greater than. So this is greater than. So we are getting greater than equation. So what is minimum value? Minimum value is eight. Minimum value is eight. So this is also problem of. Plus ten. Now this one. F x equals sine x minus three whole square plus three. Now this is mod sine x minus three plus three. And this is three minus sine x plus three because sine x is always greater than equals to one. So this is three minus sine x. So three minus sine x is always positive. So that is why it is three minus sine x. So a maximum. It is maximum when sine x is minimum. Three plus three minus of minus one. It is maximum when sine x is minimum. What is minimum value of sine x? So minus one. So this is seven. So what is a minimum? A minimum three plus three when sine x is maximum. So this is five. So range is minimum and maximum. A minimum, a maximum. So five comma seven. This is range. So range is interval of minimum and maximum. Look it again. This is square, so it is sine x minus three. Now, or you can write it sine x minus three or three minus sine x. Three minus sine x is always positive because it lies between minus one to plus one. That is why we are writing three minus sine x. If someone write it as square omitted sine x minus three, then it is wrong because it is negative, and negative number is imaginary. So today, through this video, we have solved some important problem of revision work and trigonometric ratios of any angle. These problems are important for both WBJ and JE men. So thank you for today.